Hundred shoppers, you ride with the things. See an op, then we make it the same. Hundred shoppers, you block on the screen. You an op if you not with the tip. I just went cut the few. What is good, YouTube man? It is your boy Straight Beast, bro. Finally back with another 2K video. And it's been a good minute since I uploaded. Just been very busy, you know. And um, so anyway, from one of the um one of the requests in the comment section on one of my uh, older videos was making videos on how to actually use a slasher. So you know what? That was a pretty good idea. I didn't even really. I was gonna do that eventually, but I didn't know when I was gonna do it. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just do that now. So anyway, man. So I'm probably gonna do like a three point three part series to this. So hope y'all enjoy this. Anything that I get wrong or anything, correct me on the comment section. I, I would like really appreciate that because you know I don't play 2K that much anymore. So there's probably stuff I don't know. So anyway, let's get right into it. So now, bro, y'all y'all want to make a slasher or y'all already got one? Which I don't know really how to use them, right, man? So I'm pretty much show y'all how to, bro. So um for the first part, also hit that like subscribe for all my new viewers. Hit that um that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. So anyway, man, attributes. This is very important, of course, you know. <laughs> so anyway, man, to make an unstoppable slasher, for um, for first part, I'm gonna show you how to make an unstoppable slasher. I should get out of this. All right. So um, first things first, what y'all probably don't know is that shooting off the dribble for a slasher is pretty high. Like mine's not even maxed out, and you see how it's an off dribble shot mid range of 74 and a three of 74 and a, and a 79 close shot. And when it maxes out. I think it's gonna be a 77, but I think one of them you like get like plus two or something. I don't know, but it's gonna be 77 or higher when I max it out, which is really good, man. And um, especially like up on the park, you know, my damn playmaker 70 like two three pointer, you be hitting a lot of shots. So this you really can uh, use it, use this to your advantage because you don't always have to drive in. What well, some people think that's all slashes can do, but uh, you shoot another dribble to your advantage. And then next, layups and dunks, of course. Had that all day maxed out because that's your strongest attribute. Mid range. Mid range is also pretty good because mine's a 75 mid range. And I'm also got catch and shoot badge, all that. But no, th I don't have anything on a three. But um, for some people don't know, slashers can't hit threes. I can say it's not consistent, but they can actually shoot threes, man. Um, what was it? My slasher, well, before all these damn passes and shit, my slasher was hitting some uh, corner shots. Like corner threes, he probably actually could still do it now. I just don't really take them because I don't need to because I play with shooters on my team, so it's not it's not really necessary for me to hit threes. But if you got a badge, like corner specialist, catch and shoot, limitless round, all that kind of stuff, you can actually hit them. Especially if you're like a point guard, them niggas can hit those now. And uh, agility maxed out, of course, you need that speed. And for small four slashers in general, they all have high verticals. Their 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 athleticism is like actually pretty high. Especially my 78 vertical with the rebounding. <laughs> Niggas be getting boards over centers now. And now strength. This is something that I did not, I forgot, I actually forgot to even look this. But on um, strength, now this is where uh, y'all got to help me on the comment section, bro. Well, strength, cause um, I'm not actually even sure the strength actually really helped with like, like in going to the paint, all this stuff, like making layup, contact layups, all that. Cause I never even, cause you see I'm a 93 overall, so I don't have, uh, I don't have no, not enough of upgrades to even upgrade this. Cause I'm still gonna work on shooting off dribble. But once I do, I will work on strength. Cause I feel like that does have some sort of effect on making contact layups. But um, anyway, next thing, rebounding, rebounding. Um, I actually, I highly suggest you get this maxed out. Same, cause I have a 72 rebound and a 78 vertical maxed out at 69. Your nigga, my nigga can get boards over most centers now, especially if you get the the box out too and everything. Playmaking, I'm six nine, so um, I cannot do have like the elite dribbles because you know when I max this out, my box will be at seventy four. But anything under six nine can do that. Have seventy five box control or higher. If you're six eight or shorter, seventy five ball control. Defending maxed out, you know nothing really much to that. But anyway though. Before y'all, if y'all haven't made a slasher, just think about it. Y'all want to make like a small four shooting guard or a point guard slasher. Like, to me, I made a 6'9". I just wanted to nigga with height. I ain't really care about dribbling because, for one, I don't need to dribble the ball just to be able to um score because I know how to actually use it. But if you want handles, all that kind of stuff, man, then be 6'8 or shorter. Um, For some people, being a point guard slasher is also really good because, you know, if you have your dribbling... Uh, what was your ball control high enough? You get speed boost with it, and that is actually pretty deadly. I played against a speed boost in Slasher, even though we know how to stop them, we beat them, but that's still pretty deadly though. Speed boosting and then going for a damn contact dunk now, shit. <laughs> but um, yeah. So um, basically I just showed you attributes, and I'm gonna show you all my badges. 
with some badges that'll make your uh, slash even more day look at a nice little park record but um anyway slasher pro of course gotta have that badge now when you get hot you get that slasher pro you ain't gonna miss nothing next relentless finisher man make sure you have these badges bro i'm telling you make sure you have these badges hall of fame relentless finisher hall of fame tear dropper um what else one man ah, one man fast break post riser i don't have lobsy finisher um hall of fame just because i don't really catch lobs like that when people don't throw lobs to me like that you know but anyway though now when i say you, you gotta get these badges hall of fame now when you do layups sometimes um these badges right here acrobat and teardropper they will just randomly activate especially teardropper like i just do a random layup and that shit just activates and acrobat too so getting these layup badges right here is very important don't just get just the five badges that you can upgrade and that's it get some bronze badges man those shits make a difference and next, like I said, Acrobat, the layups that he be taking, you the badges just randomly um, come up. And now catch and shoot. Now, sometimes you're going to need to take a shot, bro, mid-range or um or three. Hey, you gonna, that catch and shoot will help you. And I also got corner specials. I just realized that. But um, <laughs> corner specials also help with corners, of course. Now, difficult shots to title score. I highly suggest you get these badges right here. Because, um, like I said before, you have a high off-dribble shot especially with high off dribble mid-range and a three that can max out to like what almost a 80 so having these badges right here it will really help you and difficult shot now these these badges will really activate even from just making layups too especially title score that'll help you a lot um because you know when you be running around trying to get to the paint and you know title score is going to activate when you uh, when you score difficult shots just activates randomly making layups and dunks all that so get these badges right here ankle breaker I, I got that badge randomly <laughs> and I don't even really break ankles like that so this is a it's not a need flash pass are not a need I just like doing flash passes pick and roll maestro uh yeah it, you don't have to get it but I just got it because <laughs> I was just calling screens just to get to dunks um just to get into the paint pick dodger pickpocket you know you're gonna get those regardless you know if you're uh, trying to get badges one man fast break hall of fame on you know, getting a rebound or off the steal or block whatever you got the ball it gives you more speed. I don't know how much speed is it, like plus seven or something like that. A Hall of Fame, which could help you a lot. Posterizer Hall of Fame, of course you got to get that badge. You know that. You know you gotta get Hall of Fame posterizer, man. Catching bodies out here, and that badge activates even when you don't get contact dunks, because you know it'll help. You'll do more dunks when you have posterizer badge. You know, instead of somebody who doesn't have it. Lob City finisher, you can get that badge gold Hall of Fame. It doesn't matter. I mean, if your team throws lobs you a lot and get a Hall of Fame. But like me, I don't I don't I like to play with random sometimes with my my slashers. They don't throw lobs to me like that. Brick wall, you know. <laughs> and then microwave bat. You know, these badges right here, you, you already know what they do, but microwave is definitely important. See so anyway, that's just how my badges look like, and I showed you how my attributes, all that stuff is looking. And you know, all that's really important to make the ultimate slasher unstoppable slasher and you know, if you just if you make that kind of build nobody's gonna stop you especially on um, the second part where i should be teach y'all like the moves that y'all could use um for a slasher because you know slashes you don't have to just um dunk you don't have to be dunking all the time you know you don't have to just be going into the paint you know do moves like a look, look spin jumper you know water <laughs> And off they take off dribble shots too. People don't realize that slashers can hit off dribble shots. Damn, that wasn't that. Why did my dude do that kind of little animation? But um, see this right here. There we go. Finally, and um, you know, see you. He'll hit those, bro. He ain't gonna be green, but he'll hit them. <laughs> and also, then with dunk, like going to the paint, you don't have to dunk the ball every time, bro. You don't get a little layup, bro. You don't gotta be, you know, something. You don't gotta be fancy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to dunk. You you get blocked. I mean, as a slash, you don't get blocked, but you know you don't want to get blocked when you're a slash. Cause he's like, how? I should be hitting those dunks, bro. But um, do a uh, spin lay. Oh shit, I did euro step. <laughs> do um spin layups, euro steps. Um, you could do switch hands, but I wouldn't wouldn't do that because you can still miss those. <laughs> but yeah, it's just all these moves you could do besides dunking, bro. You know, make you a lot better. So anyway, though, that's part one of my slasher uh, tutorial of how to how to use a slasher tutorial. And part two will be coming out shortly of the moves that you can do. And that's it for that's vid for that. <laughs> is it for this video, man. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Anything that I made, like any mistakes I made or anything, bro, just comment on the comment section or anything I could have added to the video. So hope you all enjoyed this video, man. Hit that like, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out.